increase uh, overall diameter is 30 m uh, mm we can just take 30 by 2 that is 50 mm so we'll start uh, so this is our position to minus 65 and since it is radius two so we have the basic outline over here then we'll start making the offsets so basically we are uh, counting how many lines we need one two three four and five so our first one which is at uh, the chamfer is two so this little length will be two as well so that's true let's go for the second one that is 30 and third one 30 plus 5 that is 35 uh, this little line, the chamfer is 2, so that was 30 plus 5 plus 2, 37. Cool, then 37. And the last one, which is 65, it's already there. So we are done with this. Okay, okay. Now we need to find this little length, this one, and this one. So, similar way, we will go to the offset entities here. We will select our first. Then, which direction? Uh, depending upon the movement of the mouse, we can figure out the direction. So, we are going plus. So it's up, don't worry about the length, we can put it in there. So our length is, the overall um, diameter is 16. So we'll take 8, 16 by 2, which is 8. So we got that line over here. So we have to figure out this, this uh, from the grooves, which is 10 by 2. Let's select the line, going up, 16 by 2. All right, so we got this little line here, this guy here. And one of these is already up there. So one, two, and three. And Shamfer will figure it out. So we're done with this guy. Now uh, let's trim the lines we don't actually need. So basically we don't need this. This one is okay. We don't need this guy over here. Uh, we don't need this one. We don't need this guy. We'll prepare a chamfer here. Uh, we don't need this, uh, this one. So we're just looking for the halfway. Mm, so let's see we don't need this guy we need this one we need one more and let's go back yeah we don't have this this is a line yeah let me figure it out yeah so we don't need this one this guy this guy over here this one we need that for the chamfer we need that for the chamfer this little line we don't need this little line okay now we are done with this oh. let's prepare for the chamfer before that we need to trim these guys out as well no need of this one this one this line okay this is for the chamfer all right so to prepare a chamfer of two which is 45 degrees here uh we go for the cham chamfer entities press okay which is already 45 degree distance is two and two which we can see over here and from this one to this one all right from this guy over here to this guy which is two as well so uh now as we are done with our wireframe here you can see like so just try to focus on the halfway since it is late so we got this line up here uh this little groove this line sorry all right so we're done with the basic wireframe here we will start uh machining so we'll go to the machine now we don't need let's go up machine late default so before uh, before starting the facing roughing or finishing operation uh, let's define our boundaries first so go to the machine properties all right so just give the program number oh one two three four five from tool feed calculation assign two numbers sequentially then uh we have to check this one i uh, just to warm up one if we have any duplicate tool numbers all right stock setup this is a very important part because each and every time if you have to program anything the master cam you need to know uh the stock and jack joe's so we'll, I, i'm using here a left spindle so i'll go to the properties then we will start right use margins here our OD is already been calculated since we know it is uh, or you can just select from two minimum points so from here to here so it's same so OD is 30 and over length, over, uh, over length is 65 here. Now, why I, this is also important why I use margin is because we need to hold this part in our check or jaw. So we need to put up some stock, extra stock. So OD margin, I'll take it as 1mm. And right side margin, I need to have a little bit of material extra of my Z axis 
so that I can face off. Let's say I'll take two mm and two left. I'm taking five mm just so that I can hold my stock in my chats. We can preview. So this is our stock material, and this is our uh, contour line for our finishing. All right, press enter. Position, no need, all good. So let's define our chart. Parameters. Let's review how, review how, how does it look. So basically, it is not bad, but um, from, from stock I want to take in, uh, hold the part from the stock. Okay, let's preview. Okay, let's go. Yes, okay. So we are almost done with uh, our mission group properties. I want to use this left check, left stroke. Okay. All right. So we have our checks set up here. Our stroke material is set up over here already. Now we'll start uh, doing the operation. So initially, we'll start with case. Uh, I want to use a right hand tool. Basically, it's 80 degrees. So CNMG tool one, offset one. Uh, let's not go into this. We, we will uh, discuss this in the later video. Uh, about the field rate spindle speed i'll select as css or rpm as a matter in facing let's go with css then uh, home position i'll define by myself define select r1 to start from somewhere else i'll start with over here over here okay this is facing operation so all right facing all right face parameters entry 2mm i don't use any dual compensation as of now finish i'll take two passes the track value 2 is good all right so you can see we have a tool path created already here um let's preview okay here you go Inspection. all right so as you can see our tool is coming down taking a path it's retracted one more time and it's just face faces off uh, we can add one more thing here we can go to the parameter see you see this value stock to leave no, the overcut amount i need that uh basically because uh when we face the part leave a little bit material here so i don't want to do that i just want to uh pass that so over overcut let's say 0.5 is good so it will uh pass my z access axis a little bit more so I, I we will not leave any material up there all right so that is done let's start roughing our material now okay should be changed all right Soon. start point from there Keeps an error. Uh, I know the reason. I'll go to the wireframe. We basically don't need these guys here. These are only for, yeah. Good machine running rough chain. Okay, let's start going. Let's start from here. Let's start from here and end over here. Let's drop that. Okay, let's see. Wireframe, I want to make a line over here. Okay, let's go to rough chain. Okay, yeah, now it looks good. I don't want to work into here. Okay, this is good. Okay, so this uh, will pop up here, over here. I want to use a 55 degree, you know, I'll use 80 degree as well. Um, we can change this later. Select tool two, offset two. I'll go with CSS and uh, constant surface speed instead of RPM. So that based upon the diameter, we'll change the speed. I want to define the home position. Select. Uh, let's over here so that we won't waste any time. Fin cycle. Out of parameters. So this is important as well. Uh, we want to be point to mm stock for finishing on X and Z axis as well. Um, entry 2.5 out of my hand. I don't want to give any compensation. Because we are doing roughing. Remaining mm -hmm. strip use use stock for the outer boundary. All right. Continue. Okay, so you can see a little toolpath here. Now 
you can just see me run this. So it's taking off as well. It's going faster. So we'll take the excess material over here. And we'll go back to the home position. All right. So now that we are done with our rough cycle, we can also simulate. You know, let's see how it goes. We will start the color loop. Yeah. Let's set both of these. So, yeah, color loop is on. Let's try one more time. Okay. I'm going to solve this. So, this L line uh, says that it is our facing, and this is our roughing cycle. And you can see there is no tool collision. If there is anything, we uh, will see a red mark over here. So, this is good. Now, we will go for our finishing. Finishing is the same way of selecting. We'll use the chain method. We'll give a starting point. Ending point is already selected. Press OK. A similar kind of uh, page will pop up. I want to use a 55 degree angle here. Uh, okay, this good. We'll give this tool number three, offset number three, CSS from the chain, user defined, defined. Uh, let's select, let's start from here, which is good. No. Finish. Um, finishing parameters. I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave any stroke off here. If you want, you can on X and Z, if you have like a second operation coming up. And finish stroke, step over is two. Okay, which is good. We can just skip you simulate that as well. So this one line, um, you know what? I'm gonna make it for like two finishing passes off. So it will be more efficient, I believe. All right, so we can see. Okay. Let's just simulate it, that's going over here. Took my first pass and my second pass already. Now, uh, if you can see from the picture over here, we have a little uh, groove. Uh, right over here after uh, 30 mm. So let's go into that thing. For grooving, we'll use chain method as well. I'll go for chain. Oh, from there to here I want. Okay. So uh, to select chain, it's very critical uh, to select uh, just to know